Hi, honey. I'm home. How about a nice kiss? Sure thing, sweetie pie. <laughs> it was called the family on the on the Burnett show. It was called the the family, and. Um, God, what a family. Actually, if you look back at the Burnett sketches, some of them were perilously dark. Mama was very one-dimensional. She was a mean old lady. Some of them were, I mean, you would verge John tears, I think. They were just sadly sad. Um, and they worked, I think, in the context of the Burnett show because you went from that to something slapstick. So it kind of, it, it broke up, you know, it worked pretty well. But when Mama went to her own series, it, we had to suddenly just stop and rethink the whole thing because it was really hard to, uh, it was like uh, Harvey said, you can't expect people to come home from a hard day at the office and make an appointment every week to sit down for a half hour and watch this woman beat the crap out of everybody. You know, she was just very strident and uh, cold and, and very one-dimensional. And it was really Harvey who said, I think you have to, to uh, open her up now, and she has to learn to laugh and, and be a, a more colorful person. And I, I said to Harvey, you know, because he had mentored me so, so much that I trusted everything Harvey ever said to me. I said, um, how, how can Mama laugh if she's never even smiled? And he said, but you are Mama which, you know, to this day is my husband's biggest fear, is that he's going to roll over one morning in bed and it's going to be Mama's saying, good morning, sweetheart. It's his biggest fear. He freaks out when I get dressed up as Mama. He's just, get away from me. <laughs> go go away. Well, I'm on the road now do, uh, with Mama, doing a two-woman show, if you will. <clears throat> Vicki Lawrence and Mama, a two-woman show. And I opened for her, pretty much, uh, the first half of the show. and. And then she's the second half of the show, so he sees her a lot, <laughs> a lot more than he would like. Do you channel Mama, or do you just play Mama? No, I think she's just a part of me. She's she's deeply, but you know, it's it, it, Harvey said to me one time, we were talking about characters, and there's a character I used to do uh, on the show. It was like the first character they ever let me do after I was Carol's sister was a little. She was a bimbo. She was really stupid. <laughs> And I kind of think she was a little, I think I thought, kind of maybe Goldie Hawn. And I was thinking really kind of dumb blonde. Not that Goldie's a dumb blonde. I love her. But, and if you grew up with her, you're old, too. Anyway, um, I, it was like the first character they let me do. And the first sketch that I ever did her in was a takeoff on the newlywed game. And um, I can't remember the guest stars, but I do remember that one of the writers, Kenny Solms, played my husband. And uh, it was a little part, and I think their thinking was, if she's funny, it'll be great. If she's not, she's not going to ruin the whole sketch. It was a, just a small little thing. But I noticed when I was playing her, I said to Harvey, I just kind of get stupid for the whole week. <laughs> What's up with that? You know, it just kind of takes over your whole personality. And Harvey said, you will find that any character you do really, really well is, de is a part of you. To which I asked Harvey why he was so good in drag, because, you know, he was pretty darn good as Mother Marcus in drag. In the As the Stomach Turns was mostly where Mother Marcus uh, would show up, and he loved to get in all that drag and just play her for everything she was worth. He never did answer me either. I have no idea.